Okay, uh, hey YouTube, I'm back, Bennett here. Now I'm going to be attempting to purify the sulfuric acid I retrieved from the battery using no pyrotex, so that means normal ceramics, normal glass, no heater except some oil and a blowtorch and a copper pipe, and just my wits. <laughs> Here's my bottle of sulfuric acid. I'm going to put it in this bath of oil, and then I'm going to run this copper pipe through that same bath of oil, and it's already preheated to about 50 degrees Celsius, and then I'm going to have the blowtorch lie on the end of the copper pipe, and hopefully the heat from that will be able to heat up the oil hot enough to evaporate the water out of that jar at a slow enough rate not to shatter any of the ceramics. Let's have at it. So here, I am running my heat onto this copper pipe, which snakes in back there and rests in the oil. Hopefully this contraption will work and I won't spill any acid. Whew. Awesome. Okay, so my strategy has changed a tiny bit. Um, now I'm just using my blowtorch to heat the bottom of the jar to full because it wasn't working before. And hopefully this will work better. Looks like there's some bubbles forming in the oil, which is a good sign. So, play goes what happens. Got yeah, Jackson? Yeah, it's. Oh, okay. yeah, dude? It's really cold. <laughs> Alright, so that. Let's leave it as it didn't work, but now it's working. There's actually moisture coming out of this. I'm using my new foundry. I haven't even used it once yet. Think of this as the preheat. So I'm just putting my little blowtorch in the air pipe. Nice flame though. This looks like it's working now, so I'm gonna turn it up now. Okay. Okay. So here is proof. I have, I am now boiling water off using an oil bath with my blowtorch in the bowl. So this is actually working. Alright, um, something happened, yeah, it didn't really work, but, uh, I didn't lose the acid, so, uh, pretty cool. Alright, I, uh, figured out what happened.
so I went back and watched the uh, video of the acid bubbling out of the jar, and it appears that a bubble formed, but it was under some acid and it kind of got it trapped in the bottleneck, it spilled out, and the cooler acid hit the hotter bowl, and it, the bowl shattered, surprisingly, but not really, spilling the hot acid into the cool forge, so then the, all the oil turned into steam and gushed out of all the openings in the forge. Really scary from the outside. Hot, very hot. Oh, still climbing. Still climbing. 